Hello! We are in Southwest Indiana, like always, and I am out in a cornfield this time. Wanted to answer a couple questions that I keep getting around our new fungicide, Veltima. You will notice that there are several signs like this one that say five feet, it's ready to treat. And the questions are, okay, Jordan, I know that Veltima offers me great disease control and all of the plant health benefits that you talk about, which I'll go over here in a minute. Having that said, when is the best time to put Veltima on? Is it tassel? Is it later than tassel, R2? Um, prior to tassel, you know, five foot tall corn. What are the benefits of each different timing? If you are applying your fungicide through an airplane, I like to see it on prior to tassel. And here's why. Because at tassel time, when a grower asks me to go walk a field, typically there's already going to be disease lesions on the leaves, right? And that means that the fungal spores are already there and we're already seeing the results of that fungus attacking that, that leaf. So if you've already got the lesions, then the disease, it's, it's, already, it's too late because it's already affecting it. If we're out there prior to lesions and prior to a lot of fungal spores being there, then you're gonna get the residual control out of Eltima we see about two weeks longer residual control with Veltima um, than the other fungicides. So you're gonna get that residual control for the disease. What are some of the other things that it's doing for us besides disease control? We have actually proven with our fungicide lineup that the, the headline component that's in all of our fungicides, um, what it's helping do is number one, it's keeping those stomates open longer. What does that mean for us? A plant that keeps its stomates open longer means that it's going to be more efficient at respirating. That's critical when we get to the tassel timing, especially this uh, you know time of the year when it's really hot. So if our corn can be more efficient at respirating, then it's gonna spend less energy on trying to keep itself cool. That energy is gonna be put back towards production. So that's one thing that the BSF fungicide lineup like Veltima, Headline Amp, Preaxor, um, that we can prove that it does, while other fungicides, uh, like Azoxystrobin, for example, actually keeps the stomates closed and will increase um, some of those some of those things that we we don't want to have happen. So having that said. Uh, BSF is the only manufacturer to have a plant health label for fungicides because we've been able to prove these type of things. The other things that I'm talking about, which I think is just so cool, we can actually reduce the amount of ethylene being produced in a corn plant. Ethylene is a natural hormone that tells the plant like, hey, we're getting close to you know maturing, let's hurry up, let's finish putting on our ear and you know it's gonna be time to die. So if we can delay that signal from the ethylene hormone, then we're gonna be able to keep our corn in grain fill for another day or two. And when you have corn that stays in grain fill for another day or two, you're talking anywhere from one to 3% of yield per day. So it's a huge, huge deal. Again, other fungicides actually increase the rate of ethylene, um, which you do not want when we are trying to put um, put weight and kernel weight and, you know, fill the tips out. Um, so the other couple things that it's doing for us when we, we apply it pre-tassel, it does those couple things. And then you're also going to get increased photosynthesis, which again, turns all of that energy back towards production. We see increased stalk strength. So that's going to lead to harvestability. Um, in, you know, if you can get the aerial applicators to fly it on a week or two prior to tassel, I think that's going to be best. Um, if you have a field that you can't get an aerial uh, applicator into because it's, you know, s small and you've got um, 
power lines or you know you're close to a house or something by all means our data has shown that putting fungicide on at like v12 which you know we're going to call about five foot um which this is five foot here so when the corn is you know to the side to the height of here we are saying go ahead and spray um if you have a haggy or a high clearance machine, I would love to see half of it sprayed with Valtima at, you know, five foot tall corn, so call it V12, and then come back and spray the other half at Tassel. And let's see what that does for us. You uh, can look at the University of Kentucky, Tennessee, Murray State, and Western all did studies on that. And the data is really fascinating. Um, I would like to replicate that for a few years to see if we can't get the same results. Um, last year, that data actually showed that the V12 applications out yielded the tassel. So I, um, like I said, definitely want a few more years of data to see if that's actually consistent. Regardless, I do not want you waiting to spray. It needs to be done definitely prior to pollination. Um, like I said, if you can get it on pr prior to tassel, I think that's best. If you're waiting, if you're one of those who waits until you see brown silk, which um, just everyone's brown silk is different because if you're planting Pioneer or Decalb or Asgro or Bex or whatever. Um, did I say Asgro? I meant Agrigold. Um, then your brown silk is gonna be at a different timing. You you might be at R1 when someone else's is at R3. So anyway, don't wait that long to spray because you need all of the plant health benefits out of this besides disease control. All right, I hope that helped answer some questions. And if you, um, if you have any more questions, please reach out to me and I would be more than happy to answer them. Thank you.